it felt as in I had such big dreams for myself. Mm. It felt like again, actually, that's it. Mm. I was letting myself down. Mm. That feeling felt so familiar. In fact, I've just, yeah. Mm. It felt so familiar to when, as in like I had learned nothing. Mm. They decided what we're going to do is do a fundraising. And we will fundraise. Then you, as meanwhile, we do the paperwork. You go get your visa. Then uh, you go to Canada. Canada. And then... Um, had your brother flown out? Had anybody else flown out? No, no, no. Okay. No, no. He hadn't. At that point, he hadn't. It's just, uh, it's um, as in, yeah. This is Nairobi this global become, vision. <laughs> yeah, it's become too small. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> K2 ain't doing it. <laughs> yeah. It's not. Um, so then the Harambe was done. I had the appointment to go to, for, and, and we had the money, had the appointment. Obviously, the, you know, the visa process. They mm. look at how affordable is it for your people here to send you money mm. across. It wasn't a convincing case. I did not get a visa. No way. Yes. I, your story has ups and downs. That yeah. must have been heartbreaking. It was. You've gotten everything you need. Yeah. This is opportunity. Yeah, it was. It was, and it was for me, I was looking at it as my big ticket to everything I ever Wow. You know, I thought this story was going to be like, and that's how I ended up in Canada. <laughs> no, no, no. And you see, now I could visualize this. You, know, you see what, what helped me visualize this? Because now I had, I, could, I had access to TV when I was... Mm. So I could see the life now on telly. I could see the life of the US, of Canada, mm. of the developed. So I desired that. And that's why I guess, because now I had experienced Nairobi. I was like, I know Nairobi. Can mm. I go experience something bigger? Yeah. So, um, but then my mom was like, what we do as we wait for you to apply again, how about you, we use the same money for you to now go to private uni? Mm. To either do private uni or you do par parallel. And that's how I enrolled <coughs> in University of Nairobi. Oh. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Okay. So I enrolled. I didn't know what to study. I knew. I didn't because I had, I, had I had done a, a good aspect of com, com science. And I didn't want to go and do <clears throat> those heavy stuff again. Mm. And also I'd, I'd tasted what it means to have money. So I decided I can do this, but then do it as an evening. Because you see, the, the, other, the reason I was going is being able to work. Mm. So I was like, now the other version of working while you're in school here is the evening classes. Mm -hmm. So I enrolled as an evening student. student. Yes. Um, studying? Sorry? Studying what? Communications. No, I, I, just, I just went for Bachelor of, of Arts, not Science. It was Arts. I needed to choose the two majors. I needed to choose what combination. Mm -hmm. So I started with Sociology or Social Sciences. I can't remember which of the two I chose because they were differentiated. Then I did Communications. Communications, I was imagining, because you know there is Communications from an IT perspective. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I was imagining that there's a link to it, only that this is communication, communications for PR and what you guys do. <laughs> 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 and then, <laughs> then the other was um, economics. Uh -huh. So the economics aspect of just how does the economy run and all that. So th that was the interest, but all of this was an bachelor of arts. And what year is this? This I believe is 2002 December, uh -huh. uh, 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 September. September. Yes, it was 02 September. So For I context, start, Kibaki is about to come into power. Actually, uh -huh. yes, yes. At that Which point, is a change yes. of the economy. Yes, yeah. So the dream I had of going to uni is finally coming to be. Because I've enrolled, I've been called, I have gone, I've started classes. In my usual self, uh, term one, I did okay. As in same one, mm -hmm. same two, I did okay. Some three, I decided. Ah, the joke is back. <laughs> what is life? We are in Nairobi. Why aren't we having fun? Then I started going out with my friends. I can do your life is so real. <laughs> your story is your story is so real. <laughs> but then, in the going out, and by going out, as in would go to the club and all, 
But I would go there and I would get, oh, remember I've, I've known what the club is because why am I working? K2. Yes. yes. In the going out, I'm like, okay, this life is so loud. It's, I'm, not, I'm not at home. I don't feel it. Hmm. But then it's the best way to socialize. Hmm. Then because I have left the confined space of um, home, at a home, even Polly, because remember Polly, I was in, oh, I was yes. in hostels. Mm -hmm. And then, and I could make friends from that aspect, but then people have gone their own way. How else are you meeting these friends? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how else are you making other more friends? It's by going to the club. So then I started going to the club. I started tasting alcohol. Oh, Imam. Yes, I started <laughs> tasting alcohol here and there. Um, and school fell off. Wow. I didn't expect this from you. Yeah. Because I think at this Nairobi, I forgot. The sea, yeah. I forgot what it means to not have the option. As in to just have the village as the option. Because mm. I am in Nairobi, I'm living as yeah. well, I'm, I'm living. Um, so to, that's 2003. And can I say something? Mm -hmm. This is the first time in your story mm -hmm. I've not heard you say placeholder. So you see, you're in uni, you've yeah. arrived. Yes. But I'm not hearing you say, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm here mm. so that I can go mm. to this job. Mm. This is the first time I'm hearing you say, ah, I've now arrived uni. Mm. But I don't know. I, like, it's the first time in your story. I don't know, okay, mm. where does she want to go after this? Mm. So I've, I've figured. But even then, I figure. And it still drops off. Yeah. So what happens? I try going in and out, in and out, but I can't sustain it. Reach a drop off. You drop out of uni? Yes. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I know. Your story is too encouraging. I know it sounds that this is too much of a familiar story. What was the problem? Was it that the nightlife was affecting you attending school? I just joined bad company. Ah. Uh, and where did this company, where did you, re, where did you meet with this company? In Campo? Yes, as in you see, you go, and I wouldn't even call it a bad company. I had people to explore the city with. Mm. Or to live the hype life. Mm or to live care in a carefree manner mm. or to believe that now I'm fine because I'm in Nairobi, I've gotten a job. I'm, I had that. And you're still living in Ngumo? I'm still living in Ngumo. Okay. So you didn't, okay, I get it. Yeah. I'm still living in Ngumo. Then that zero three, I meet different people. And they, they just encourage, they are, you know, the youthfulness and mm. all of that, but all of it is so shallow. Mm. It's, it's, it's shallow engagements. And I feel that like there's something lacking, but the time also goes. Mm. If you don't attend class, what's the recourse? Mm. As in, there's so much you can do. Mm. As I've spoken, I've just thought of, yeah, my family. Anyway, it's okay. It's, 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 it's what it is. Um, so zero three goes on and then because, because I maybe got the Kahama job, the assistant IT manager job, which I was not enjoying because now I was trying to change. I was trying to figure out what can I do? Mm. What more can I do? I decided, you know what? I'm going to resign. Has your paycheck, did your paycheck increase in that time? No, no, it was still, it no, was maybe it increased to 18K. No, it was still 15,000. So I resign. I resign and I tell myself, I, I'm not going to do this whole IT, whatever, again, because I've also seen the courses. So, so I'm, I'm going to try see what softest thing I can do. Then I get a job as a receptionist <laughs> in a repro farm. Mm. You know, repro, the, before when the print work, the, the, the big billboards printing yeah. that 
what do you, the the film the mm. pro that mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it bites in the print the advertising industry so, so you I, were in jobless for a long time no so the transition was was cuz i i'm not hearing you like you're scared of money not coming in for rent no i was in jobless for a long time okay i was in jobless for a long time but even when i moved to that repro i was still being paid 15000 but i was stuck in 15000 for a long time mm. and i was there at the reception telling myself candy you can be more you know you're more you know you've not done school you're not doing school you're doing reception what are you doing but then of course i numb that because you go go out have a good time monday comes you have a job you pay the bills you're mm. fine then and that's zero f yeah that's 2003 and uh, most of that was 2003 actually because mm. that's maybe from beginning of 03 to somewhere yeah the guilt of dropping out is not eating you it is but i'm but you're numbing it. it i'm numbing it ah i'm numbing it therefore you're not even going home no no home is uh, cuz that that's your staring at face of Mm. No, the... I and and in fact I think this is the first time my folks will actually hear me say that I dropped off. Mm. Yeah. Um best I need to say it cuz that's my truth. Yep. Yeah. So then um 04 so 03 comes I didn't like it. It felt as in i had such big dreams for myself mm. it felt like again actually that's it mm. i was letting myself down mm. that feeling felt so familiar in fact i've just yeah mm. it felt so familiar to when as in like i had learned nothing mm. as in i had gone through 97 as in all those seasons all those transitions and learned nothing and now i'm 23 you are back in kieni Yes, and I'm still letting myself down. So, one of my lowest moments. No, starting 2004 was a low moment. Actually, then I was fired from that job, the reception job. Fired. I was fired. Be out of behaviors, not behaviors, just. Okay. They just said they can't afford me or something. But they didn't feel like you adding value. Correct. Can you don't sound like somebody who could ever be fired whether or not they had money? Yeah. Because of your no, posture. No, but, but the post because of because of that season I was going through. Uh-huh. Again, I was back to the person who does not show up for themselves. Mm. And I lost that job. Mm. So, by the time I'm going to 2004, I'm going to 2004, I'm out of a job. I am at risk of being evicted. Mm, 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 mm. Being evicted means I go back again to Shags. But being evicted what that really means is that I've been given opportunity and I have blown it. Mm. And I can feel regret starting to come in. Then I'm like I this regret no 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 no. I never used to go to church. when i came to nairobi mm. then i tell that day oh in early that 03 there's there's a i would call him what like a, a family friend who passed away mm. and i went for the funeral and in the funeral his children sang i have a father you know i have a father, father yeah. yes who knows my name that one and that song i'd never heard it and it was at uh, this church opposite prestige almost the african good shepherd good shepherd yes so i heard it and then it it resonated with me somehow Anyway, so now the reason I've remembered that because now I come to 2004. The year starts I'm starting it at a low because I, I don't have the job, the receptionist job. Um 
and I'm, and I'm, I'm just trying to remember. And I'm, I'm struggling. I'm so low, I'm so down. I'm so beaten, I, it feels empty. Anytime I go out and all of those, and I know this is not me, I have blown the window for going back without exposing myself to mm. my parents. Mm. So I need to determine what needs to be done. They shame. And there is shame. Actually, that's the word. They shame. I am confirming again that the person I was in Kenya is who I am now. Um, and I, 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 I remember that song, which had been sung in April of 2003. I remember that song when I'm in my bed in my room. A friend of mine had invited me to ICC, International Christian Center, mm. the one on... Mombasa Road. Yes, they had invited me once or twice, and I had liked it. So then, I, I tell God, this church, they have a service that's one at eight, the other one at ten. And I'm like, you and I, we've not had a relationship for some time. And I know I've gone, I'm not, I'm, I'm not making you proud. But this is what is going to happen. I am at my lowest point ever possible. I am going to wake up. I am going to dress up. I am going to go to ICC. I am going to sit on the third row from the front. And if the choir sings the song I have a father, oh. and they make an altar call, me, who's so embarrassed, who has to keep some, who has to look like the hip, because that time all the friends I have are people who go out, they don't do church, they do. I will stand, I will walk to the pulpit and give my life to you. Who is God? <laughs> <laughs> I show up in ICC, I sit. Third row. Third row. Someone is said, the worship is done. The song is not sung. Worship is done. As in someone, nothing. Offering, done, nothing. Benediction. The pastor, Pastor Chip Block, stands. And he asks the choir, will you please lead us in a song? We need to do an altar call. I have <laughs> a father. That's the song. I had to wake up and walk to the pulpit alone. Wow. And I gave my life to Christ. That was on 29th February, 2024. This year, it will be 20 years. What a story. So now, <laughs> you continue. Now we pick a pose. We'll be back. What's the date today? 